These are all the boys that broke my heart. If you see your name on there, you're fucking welcome. It's gonna go in my memoir soon, so. Names will not be changed. What's up guys, it's your girl SFK and this is QFA, question fucking answer. I'm gonna be answering all your questions because you guys are so obsessed with me. Just kidding, but let's get into it, shall we? Tips for being confident. I think it's really important to have a conversation with yourself the way you'd be having it with someone that you love. What do you say to them to make them feel good? What do you say to them when you love someone, when you admire them, you compliment them? Why don't we do that to ourselves? Yeah, sure, we might think we look good, but I think verbally saying, you look so fucking hot, you crushed that presentation. Buy a good mirror, talk to yourself, and compliment yourself the way you would compliment someone that you love. Have that conversation every single day. How did you get so confident? Well, when I was a freshman in college, I changed my middle name to fucking. I literally would introduce myself as Serena fucking Kerrigan to everyone I met, which now that I think about it, that was a very bold move. But I got to college and I was super insecure and I needed something to remind me that I'm the shit. So I was like naturally just gonna change my name. And I told everyone I changed it legally, which might or might not be true. And it definitely rubbed people the wrong way, some, and others loved it. And what was most important was that it made me feel good. It made me walk into a room and just own myself, my identity. And it created a little bit of a splash, you might say. So that was a really good way for me to exude confidence when I wasn't really having it. And then eventually, SFK became Serena, Serena became SFK, and I became the confident queen that I am. So the point of this story is confidence is a choice and you have the ability to make it. You need a TV show. Yeah, I know. Why do you think I'm in here recording? This is my TV show. Where did you go to school and what did you major in? So I went to Duke University and I majored in visual media studies and English and drinking. I actually had my own shot. It was called the SFK shot which was 151 rum, Malibu, and pineapple juice. It tastes like this like tropical blackout sensation. You would be like, SFK shots, like let's go. And then next thing you know, you were like on the floor of your bedroom or someone else's. How long have you lived in NYC? I've lived in New York City my whole life. My name is Serena, my mom's name is Lily. I basically look like Blake Lively, so I'm pretty sure that Gossip Girl is my life. Just, just putting it out there. I've definitely fucked someone named Chuck before. I think. Are you ever concerned about the negative aspects of celebrity you might encounter? Well, considering all the nudes that are in the cloud, yes. Can you be my confidence coach? Well, hello, that is my role. I want to be your coach, your confidant. I'm not your therapist though, because I did not go to school for that. What is my favorite and least favorite part about being single? My favorite part about being single is that I do whatever I want, when I want, I can fuck whoever I want. It's all about you and what you wanna do. I, I just think that when you go into a relationship as amazing as they are, you lose a part of yourself because the other person becomes so important. And I'm literally not down, like it's about me, bitch. If you're 25, like me, or in your 20s, it's about securing the bag, okay? Like literally you're gonna be married for like a long time and then you're gonna have kids and then your life is gonna be over. So why not enjoy this time now? Like I get so many questions from you guys about how to get a boyfriend. Like no, how about how to become financially independent so you can buy a Chanel bag? How to keep motivated after a failure. So when I have a failure or setback, which happens rarely ever, but when it does, just kidding, it happens literally all the time. I get a wave of anxiety. I hysterically cry. I spiral and just write a literally like, like think of a list of all the things happening wrong in my life. And then I realize that everything in life happens for a fucking reason. If a door is closing, it means another one is opening. So don't see it as a failure, see it as a learning lesson. Okay? Like when I got arrested when I was 16, that was a failure. Like that sucked. Like I was handcuffed for smoking pot. Okay, I didn't even smoke the pot. I literally was like next to this kid who was rolling a joint. But I look back on that now and I'm like, that moment was so pivotal for me because my parents threw away my bong, Billy Bong Thornton, RIP. I stopped smoking weed for like a month and then I got back on track. So the point of the story is weed is amazing. Don't get arrested. 
And every moment in life is a lesson that you should learn at some point, even though I think I got, no, I hadn't, I haven't been arrested since then. I don't think, exactly, I haven't gotten arrested. Thank you guys so much for watching QFA with SFK. I hope you fucking loved it. And I hope you fucking love yourself. And I hope you fucking followed me on Instagram by now.